This is the house I stayed in last night. This is the house I stayed in last night. The rule's not doing so good. Good morning here in Kiribati. It's my fourth day here. I'm gonna go to the airport. But I saw this thing, this noni fruit. In Kiribati, it's called tunun. T-U-N-U-N. Tunun. They said you can clean it and then eat it. But it smells really funny. So the taste is not so great. It's very interesting though. So that's the machine that you need. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. All right. Good morning. <laughs> so is she going to school this morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. What time? Eight. Eight, Eight o'clock. Okay. That's good. Uh, thanks for uh, husking the coconuts. It's really helpful now. I can drink it now for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Well, what's your name? Te Kona. Te Kona. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Can so I we... taste of this? Okay. It's a pancake locally made. Oh, really? Toddy and water. Which? Which? Water and? Toddy. Flour, water, and toddy. Toddy. Yeah. What's toddy? Toddy is a coconut syrup. Oh, yeah. Like this coconut? Yeah, but there's a spat that they have to cut it. Oh, and yeah. The water comes out of that spat and then that's toddy. Oh, that's toddy. Oh, okay. I understand now. All right. <laughs> I really enjoy those pancakes. They're really good. So you put uh, flour, water, oil, sugar, and... Toddy. Toddy. Toddy, yeah. Yeah, that comes from coconuts. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, thanks. And what is your name? I'm Sikwa. All right, Sikwa, and you're born in... 1964. Oh, okay, that's nice. You've seen a lot of changes in Kiribati. Yeah, many changes. <laughs> All right, good. So I was able to get those two coconuts husked over here. Taikona husked it for me. And I met the lady, her name was Sikua. And she was a nice lady. She offered me those pancakes. So now I'm gonna head to the airport. Oh, looks like a breadfruit just fell down. Well, that wasn't good a shot. This is a fire truck in Kiribati, which was donated by the people of Japan. Here is the Ministry of Internal Affairs Cultural Center and Museum. <laughs> I'm good. Good. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Marilyn. Marilyn, I'm Jason. Oh, hi. So uh, I'm just going straight. Thanks for picking me up. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I was surprised you picked me up. <laughs> Do you normally pick up hitchhikers? Um, yeah, I see when they like stop and then I said, okay, I can't stop because... Oh, okay. Well, you're from which city? I'm from uh, Papua New Guinea, from Madang. Madang, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Port Morrisby, but maybe next time I'll visit Madang because I know it's just north of there. Yes. Yeah. You go into Port Morrisby and then fly out from Port Morrisby. It's like um, what an hour flight? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So this is all sand. Yeah. That's interesting. It's uh, Marilyn. Yep. For the ride, I'm gonna catch my flight to You're Honiara. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. This is garbage? Ah, so they're burning the garbage. <laughs> Bonriki International Airport. Thank you. 
Now I'm leaving Tarawa, Kiribati. And I'm going to Southern Islands, Honiara. Today is Captain Steve Sago and heading our cabin crew, excellent cabin crew, is a person of Penzance. Operating uh, this service, the Solomon 720, across to Honiara, and operated today by the Rural Airlines, and uh, flight time across to Honiara, 2 hours 25 minutes, smooth flying conditions, the weather degree just at Honiara. Passing showers at the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Waiting on a little bit of paperwork to arrive to the aircraft, and once we receive that, we can uh, get the uh, aircraft on the way and uh, short taxi over. So hopefully, we'll be arriving very close to our scheduled arrival time in two hours. Underway, thank you. So, our second seat is Candice, assisting her in studying in the mill. This will set up the winter strips. Oxygen is required, a bus like this will drop from the engine above your head. Immediately, the bus out to start the floor of oxygen, place the bus in the windows and mouth, secure the headband and adjust to the bus wings. Bring on when until at last the bus is normal. The time is by the crew to fasten and push these two middle ends together until they can be closed. To tighten the one this strap and to release from the this part on the buckle. The life jacket is sewn under each seat. They are required. Do not inflate your life jacket until you leave the aircraft.
we have one out of 15 now. Yeah, exactly. We're wow. just getting transferred. So you'll get a job from Papua New Guinea. 